First we need to prepare a fiber optic stripper to get a bare fiber. Before stripping the fiber, we need to put a fusion protection sleeve on the fiber cable. Then use fiber optic stripper to remove the loose tube and coating of the optical fiber. Clamp it and slide it slowly to remove it. In this way, a bare fiber can be obtained. Then clean the bare fiber with wipes dipped in alcohol. The next step is that use a fiber cleaver to cut the fiber. Keep the bare fiber to 20 millimeters. Let's fix the fiber into the fusion splicer. Repeat the same procedure for the second fiber. Remove the loose tube and coating of the optical fiber. Clean the bare fiber with wipes. Then cut the fiber. Fix on the other side. Close the clamp to hold the fiber. Leave the fiber as close as possible to the electrodes. Before fusion splicing, we need to adjust the mode according to the type of fiber. Then we close the shield. Now the fusion process starts. Fusion splicing only needs 7 seconds. It's very fast and efficient. The screen also shows the fusion quality. You can see that the splice loss is 0.01 dB, a lossless fusion. And it also shows the battery capacity, time, and so on. The fusion splicing is completed. Gently take out the fiber and put the production sleeve over to protect it. Then we put it into the heater. The device will automatically heat up. As you can see, heating just only need 18 seconds. Very highly efficient. The screen can show some parameters. Remaining heating time. Fiber mode. Fiber type and time. Now, the entire fusion splicing process has been completed. Then we can put it on the cooling tray to cool. When you use a fusion splicer, have you ever encountered problems such as fusion splicing optical fibers with the same parameters? But the fusion splicing quality continues to decline, or you can't determine the appropriate discharge amount for special optical fibers and worry about it. Fast discharge correction can fix these problems. Why do we need to perform fast discharge correction? Atmospheric environments such as temperature, humidity, and air pressure during fiber splicing will cause the change of the discharge intensity. In addition, the aging and dirty conditions of the electrode will also cause the change of the discharge intensity. At the same time, the discharge center of the electrode will shift relative to the position of the fiber fusion splicing. The discharge correction function judges the discharge intensity according to the axial deviation before and after the discharge of the splicing part, and automatically corrects it to the standard intensity, thereby realizing low loss and stable fiber splicing. Under what circumstances need fast discharge correction? When the temperature humidity, and air pressure of the operating environment change significantly, continuous splicing failure or high loss, the fusion splicer has not been used for a long time, or the electrode has been used too many times, after cleaning or replacing the electrode. It is recommended to perform fast discharge correction when splicing 125 ohm fiber about 300 times and 400 ohm fiber about 50 times.
How to perform fast discharge correction. Press the menu button after booting find in order, maintenance, discharge, rapid discharge calibration. Press enter to enter. Put a pair of cut optical fibers into the inner cover of the machine and press the enter key. Then we close the shield. The machine will automatically discharge repeatedly until the calibration is completed at the bottom of the screen. Press the reset button at this time.